Same thing for kids who happen to be still be going to school or maybe summer camp has started up. Make sure you monitor what the children are doing, what they're wearing, how much they're exerting themselves, and take frequent water breaks. Heat index up to 100 to 105 as far north as Sandusky, where there is a heat advisory in effect starting at noon tomorrow. Here is the setup. We have this dome of high pressure forming to our south, and it's huge, encompassing all of the deep south, including us right here in southeast Michigan, all of southern Michigan, up towards Chicago as well, so we are not alone. Winds around this area of high pressure are clockwise, so winds will be out of the southwest, and with high pressure, air moves downward. The water vapor can't go up and form clouds, so the sun will be blazing. Don't forget your sunblock as well. So what it means is excessive heat warning goes into effect at 12 noon tomorrow for Detroit and most of southeast Michigan. Heat advisory farther north for our north zone, including Flint, Lapeer, KPAC, and Port Huron northward up towards Sandusky. They both begin at noon, but they don't expire until 8 a.m. the next morning, Thursday. On top of that, air quality alert for tomorrow. With the stagnant air, the intense sunshine, and folks still using the vehicles, we know that you still have to, air pollution levels will be rising. But here's what you can do to beat the heat. We talked about drinking plenty of water, wearing light and loose-fitting clothes. Make sure kids and, and pets stay away from empty vehicles. Now is the time to get into those habits. Also, take care of your pets. If the pavement is hot for you, it is hot to them. It can damage their paws and, of course, hurt their paws. And make sure they stay hydrated. Leave those bowls of water outside your home. You see many businesses do that also in many areas, strip malls or along the neighborhood at your favorite marketplace. Now, in order to cut down on uh, air pollution levels, Think about carpooling, using public transportation for tomorrow. We can take a break from mowing the lawn. Maybe that's one saving grace. Bottom line is don't use any gas-powered equipment. And check on seniors. Check on folks who you know might already have heart ailments or respiratory issues. 72 right now over at the airport, and temperatures are in the 60s and 70s everywhere we look. The humidity isn't here yet, so temperatures and heat indices are one and the same. Anywhere from 72 in Pontiac, 69 degrees over at Mount Clemens, 72 over at Metro Airport. I do want to say thank you to Shell's Elementary and Middle School right here in Detroit on the northwest side. Had a wonderful time uh, visiting and talking with the students uh, during career day. Talking about what it's like to be a local forecaster right here at Local 4 and talking about the weather. Like the temperatures tonight. They go down to the 60s, still comfortable by dawn, but those temperatures start to skyrocket as that sun rises. Sun rises at 556, near 90 degrees as early as noontime, 96 for a high, a heat index well over 100. 91 on Thursday, but we have a cold front coming through, and that spells relief. Not for Thursday, but for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, including Juneteenth and Father's Day, with temperatures back into the 80s and 70s and lower humidity.